before but try to save constantly okay you just learn how to save it and try to make different files like PC fan 1, PC fan 2, PC fan 3 so you always can get back because 3D Max uh, crashing a lot especially when you're beginner you're not sure what you're doing and your machine is not too fast your computer is not too fast this machine is very fast that's why it is like so okay and uh, modifier list click on modifier list and um, find mesh smooth this guy right here it's saying mesh smooth click on it you can see we smooth it a little bit and that just perfect that's what we're looking for we want to make it like this kind of fence don't worry about the base of the where we extruded of our cylinder it can be like this we're going to fix it later on and I'm going to show you we're going to just create another cylinder as we discuss and we're going to place it on on into that um, uh, f fin fans fan fans okay let's have a look in our reference image yeah something like that we have a, just a little bit different but that's fine uh, we're not going to get into the completely details you can spend some times and uh, get completely details by moving the vertices we're not going to do so you're well, learning basic uh, polygon subdivision uh, methods today so you can create basic models and then you can go advance after that okay so that's fine I'm satisfied with that let's keep it like so the next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to click on create and select the cylinder click on the cylinder and over here in the center of our fan I'm going to create a cylinder like so about like so get out just a little bit out of that cylinder base and then get height make it a little bit bigger then our uh, cylinder of the fence fence and then using the select move tool and using my front viewport just kind of position it like uh, about like so then zoom in a little bit in our front view then using the pen view and zoom in again I'm using my third mouse button you can use this zoom uh, icon okay and using the select the move tool kinda put it like kinda well, like so okay so let me demonstrate you something when you're going to move uh, your fence the cylinder is not moving let's go ahead and click undo let's say if I want to move my fence this cylinder is going to move to the fence how to do so I'm just going to show you a little bit tip we want to attach this big cylinder to the fence left. click my left mouse button minus symbol is appear by the I mouse icon I'm going to select all of those from the front uh, viewport and all of them going to get unselected you can also double check on your v left uh, viewport they're white now not red anymore okay so only selected guys edges are top over here on top of my cylinder and on the bottom as you can see over here top and bottom okay in different viewports you can see it or you can rotate in your perspective view you can basically rotate using your orbit uh, sub object tool and you can see that bottom edge selected and top edge cup is selected the next thing what you want to do you want to scroll down in your options and where it does say chamfer you want to click on settings what it does uh, basically it just create another edge that is going to be uh, on that edge so let's go ahead and put 10 and let's have a look um, let's click cancel for now let's use the zoom tool and zoom in in our perspective so you're gonna see what we're doing and kinda position it with the pen view so you can see the top 
it's going to do this chamfer to the top and to the bottom exactly what we are looking for click on the chamfer settings like see and you can see it's adding some extra edge and let's 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 say two and click enter chamfer amount you can see it's creating that kind of oval thing that we're looking for segments if you want to say one it's going to just one edge extra if you want to say two and click enter on the segments you can see it's created three edges but we want to one so it's only one edge created and second one is our that we already was highlighted click OK now you can see our uh, model of the cylinder kind of change it a geometry and create that oval thing but we're not done yet what we want to do next go ahead get to the top of our option and click on a polygon click on that icon and um, what we want to do we want to click this in our perspective view on this polygon here once then using the orbit sub object tool kind of get to the bottom and select the bottom part as well holding the control button so 2 is selected double make sure that 2 is selected using the orbit sub object tool you can rotate your camera view 2 is selected nice now what we want to do we want to switch to the right uh, to the top uh, viewport right click mouse button on it and using the scale and uniform tool you want to use the small yellow triangle just put mouse uh, over it and you can scale it as you can see like by so okay now uh, what we are going to do let me teach you how to work with the vertices you can also scale it not the polygon but you can scale those inside vertices let's go ahead and click on vertex mode and zoom in our top viewport using the zoom tool there's a vertices let me make it bigger there is see those vertices the dots okay so you can select those dots inside of that circle how to do so you can use the select object always use the select object when you to this one guy right here when you're working with the vertices and uh, you can click control button and uh, select zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out and select them all it's going to make sure only inside like so zoom in zoom out with your third mouse button or with zoom tool you can see some selected some not you can select select make sure those are not selected from over here is not selected so alt button if you select it ex accidentally hold it and then move mouse deselect it and it's going to take some time how to select them as a circle easy click on this object uh, uh, tool right here rectangular selection region basically it select selection region uh, tool click on it hold your mouse button and select the circle click on the circle now in the center click on the center of your mouse button and kind of draw the circle and release and just because it wasn't imperfect where we wanted it's kind of select those uh, vertices you can deselect them or you can draw it again just click somewhere it's going to deselect if you're going to click somewhere in your 2d space is deselecting your selections so be careful with that but you can always undo if you accidentally did it but I don't wanna undo so I'm going to deselect and kinda in the center draw the circle like so if some vertices over here is selected let me zoom and show it to you I'm going to deselect it just one this guy right here so I'm going to use the alt tool and make sure I'm using the select object tool 
then I'm going to hold the Alt button and kind of deselect that. How to get back to the square selection? You're going to go ahead and selection region tool, click on it, holding the mouse and select the square. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out. As you can see, my middle circle of dots or vertices are selected. Now I'm going to use the Select and Uniform Scale tool. And it basically works just the same as in polygons or with edges. So you're just learning how to work, in, uh, work. You're learning how to work with uh, vertices. And using the l a small yellow triangle, put your mouse so it's triangle. I can you can see modify my uh, object as well, like so. Okay, kind of position it where I want it, then unselect it. Okay, get back to the perspective view. Put my viewports kind of like it was before. Get back to my uh, perspective view. Have a look. All right, we kind of create that feeling. Now, what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Polygon tool and just because previously our polygons were selected and we just left them to be selected they are uh, going to be selected if they are not selected you can click somewhere and it's going to deselect them if you will use the select object tool click somewhere deselect polygons deselect the edges deselect the vertices and then click on the top polygon let let me show you again how to select those polygons using the our orbit uh, sub object tool rotate our camera view and select the bottom okay get back to the top and uh, i use the control button to move to select